Welcome back boys. Winter is here, so let's talk Chinese diesel heaters. This is my self-contained unit that I built a few years ago. Uh, everything is inside this toolbox, all mounted up, ready to go. You show up to wherever you want to go, open it up, turn it on, and you have heat. I bought everything off of Amazon, put it together. Inside here I have a gallon and a half tank. I can run that overnight, no issues. Uh, I use this for winter camping to heat my Tapui rooftop tent, and then I also use it in my ice shanty, uh, ice fishing. This gives off about 17,000 BTUs. You're not gonna run any risk of CO poisoning. I've been camping when it's been 30 below zero out, and inside the tent it's 85 degrees. So let me show you around, show you how I built this. So this is a toolbox I got off Amazon. Uh, I made a couple of modifications, mounted the diesel heater inside. So open it up, you're gonna have everything you need. You're gonna have the dryer vent, you're gonna run that right up into your tent. You're gonna get fresh hot air. You're gonna have all your wires, plug it in. Uh, you're gonna have your control as well as remote. We have the fuel tank mounted inside. Like I said, this holds a gallon and a half of diesel. Um, so let me show you how I mounted this all up and then I'll show you how it works. You can see how I have it mounted. I bought these L brackets from Home Depot and it's going to actually bolt to the brackets that come with this diesel heater. You can see everything just fits nice and snug but there's plenty of room. And then that is going to be your exhaust coming out. We have that wrapped in exhaust wrap so you don't have any sort of heat issues. We have the fuel pump right here. We have the fuel tank mounted securely with these tie downs so right here is going to be the warm air coming out of the heat exchanger up into your tent i used a hole saw cut a hole through that and then i used the provided uh hardware that actually came with you're it. gonna take your dryer vent put it right over that and tighten down this hose clamp and then that's how you're gonna get the warm air up into your tent we're going to have the exhaust coming out one side. The other side, you're going to have your clean air coming in down here. It's going to be the intake for your heat exchanger. Again, I just use a hole saw right through there. All right, let me show you how this works. So when you first set up the unit, you're going to have air inside the lines, and you're going to want to get that out. What you're going to do is press these two bottom buttons, press the arrow to turn this on, and you can hear that this pump has a prime feature. So it's pumping any air that may be inside the line out. Once that's done, just hit off, hit the on button, and you'll hear the unit start to warm up. It takes a couple of minutes before everything starts working. You'll hear this fuel pump turn on, and at that point, it'll be good to go. As far as the temperature goes, you're gonna use these up and down arrows, and you'll be able to adjust how hot that you want this to be. Uh, I find on high, it ends up being too hot, so usually I turn it down, you know, depending on the temperature, but we'll turn that down. So let me show you what it sounds like once this is all warmed up and ready to go. So as it starts to get warmed up, you can see you can get a little smoke out of here that's completely normal, and you can hear this fuel pump starting to get faster and faster. So we've been running for about 10 minutes now on high. You can hear that fuel pump clicking away. That's everyone's number one biggest complaint from these, is just the noise that they make. Personally, once you shut the lid, climb up in your tent, I don't even think you hear it. So when it is time to shut it off, you do want to hold the power button and turn that off. It goes through a cool down mode, and it's going to allow everything to cool off before it just shuts off completely. Like I said, longevity wise, you're going to want to do that, allow it to cool off properly. I've been using this three years now, no issues. Everyone's biggest complaint about this is the noise. I don't mind the noise, I'd personally rather that than any type of CO poisoning. Thanks for watching, any questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time.